We are back. Um, I'm here with Roberta. My name is Tally, and we're inside the Bridal Finery. We are a boutique located in Orlando, Florida, um, just in a suburb of Winter Park. Um, so we are going to talk all about hair accessories today. Um, so we're going to focus on our Maria Elena pieces. Um, so that's one of our main lines here. It's all Swirsky crystals, beautiful detail. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swing Roberta's hair up in just a very low updo. Um, and I have to give credit to Makeover Station that did a nice soft curl in her hair. And get easier. Roberta's got some lashes from her as well. Um, Makeover Station is actually located right next door to us. Um, and they are a great spot to even just for like a blow dry before a bridal appointment. Um, she does lashes as well, so great spot to visit. Okay, let's swing your hair up. Yay! Yay! So we do this in all of our bridal appointments. So when you find your gown, we'll um, show you different ways to style your dress. Uh, it's incredibly important because it's photos, it's a whole picture. Those earrings, that hair piece, they're in every single photo. Um, so it's a pretty big deal. Okay, and then our pieces are meant for lifetime wear. Um, so they are something that you can wear on anniversaries, keep in the family, keep as your little personal heirloom collection. It looks really pretty. Actually put in like a nice jewelry box where you can look at it every day. Um, but yeah, they're pieces that are not like a one-time wear for your wedding. And actually something you can get more use out of. Why do you think a bride needs to wear her face? Hair piece to me is a mess. It's like a non-negotiable. <laughs> um, and it's beautiful when you take your veil off, and, and especially if you're not wearing a veil too, uh, it's nice to have something in your hair. Um, I'm a very simplistic girl. I don't wear a lot of accessories, but the hair piece is just such a beautiful statement. It's one of the only times in your life like you can wear a hair piece, and you know it's not like cheesy and ridiculous. Um, so it's a good excuse for one. And at your reception, your dress will be mainly covered. When everyone's on the dance floor, you only see a little portion of the dress, but you definitely see that hair piece. Um, and it's just the detail. It's just like the table at your wedding. It's every little detail. What's on that centerpiece? What's on the charger? Um, is there a little favor on the table? Um, the linens, everything. So I see the hair piece that way as well. To me, it like finishes the look. Um, and again, I'll show you today like some like smaller pieces to like more over the top. There's definitely the right hair piece for everyone. Not everyone should have a huge hair piece, um, but as far as having something in the hair, to me it's a must. And that's even if your hair is down, it looks really good. So I think I answered your question. <laughs> do you have a preference? Like if you're wearing your hair up or this type of dress, what hair piece it should be worn with, what type of hair piece. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the neckline has a lot to do with it, and that's why it's important to pick your hair piece um, when you're buying your gown, um, so you see the whole look together. Uh, it doesn't really work out well if you're kind of buying them at separate times when the pieces are not together. We can do it, we have worked off photos, um, or have you try on a dress that's maybe with a similar neckline, that always really helps. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, with a strapless gown, like with what Roberta's wearing today, she's in a Pronovius gown, um, you have kind of a nice blank canvas with your neckline, you can really do just about anything. Um, and then if you have, like, let's say, like a long lace sleeve gown, just depending on how it looks, like if it's more of a lace sleeve gown that's more boho, then a halo detail where it goes all the way around looks really fun. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a more like, you know, I say like churchy, more like serious royal like lace gown, then maybe like a clean comb in the back or a crown um, would look really beautiful. So. Do you have a preference for like hair colors and metal color? Yeah, I mean, again, that's something that we, it also has to do with what do you like to wear? Do you mm -hmm. wear a lot of gold? Then we should start with gold first um, to see it in your hair color, see it with the dress. Yeah. Um, if you're someone that like never wears gold, I would hate for you to like wear gold on your hair feet or on your wedding day and just be really thrown off. So we need to consider that as well. Um, but yeah, definitely. Do you think that there's a lot of controversy out there that a bride should buy her piece before her hair trial or she should do her hair trial first and then buy the hair piece. What's your recommendation and why? Yeah, so my recommendation is to buy the hair pieces before your hair trial. Mm -hmm. So again, when you purchase your gown, it's a great time because you're gonna be so bombarded with 
500 other decisions when you walk out the bridal shop. Um, so That's when true. you have your whole look together, there's less to worry about. You can mm -hmm. go alterations, go into alterations and focus on alterations. You don't have to worry about like all these other pieces and the look coming together. Um, I see a whole different level of like stress, I feel like, when my clients like don't have those pieces until the very end. Yeah. Um, did I answer your full question? Yeah. I feel like I missed, okay. <laughs> And then it's, it's there, all these pieces are designed to be worn with your hair up, your hair down, all these different ways. Correct. So when you take your pieces into your hair artist, they'll show you different ways to work the piece. So these are pieces that are pretty new here to the boutique, but they are part of the classic collection of Maria Lena. Um, you can see there's a little bit of pearl, there's Swarovski fabric in there, um, all custom if you'd like. So we can change the pearl color, really just about everything. And you can see the back of the pieces. So these are all welded by hand in Miami. They're really special pieces and that's really what it's about. Um, of course you can jump on Amazon and order a hair piece, but it's not the same as like having something really special for your wedding day. Um, that really makes a big impact in photos. So yeah, so that's just two. Um, so again, if you're a little bit more minimalistic, um, two's a nice statement. Again, we could even play with one. Um, and then the set, the designer recommends three. And I love these because extra texture in photos always just does so much. Um, so it's almost kind of like a stacked leafy effect. Uh, so I love like the different textured photos really makes a big impact. So, so pretty. And these are slightly to the side. Um, we could definitely do it like even further to the side. If you're gonna go to the side, I always recommend your right side because that's the side that your guests will see. Now, if you always part your hair a certain way, um, then of course that could possibly change where you put the hair pieces. You don't wanna all of a sudden change your part on wedding day when you've been having the same part your whole life. <laughs> You're used to your sides. <laughs> or if you have like a favorite side, Roberto, do you have a favorite side? No. Really? I don't. Say yes. I always take photos though on the side. Yeah. So that's but, your, your but side. But I don't mind. I do it on the side because I have my freckles on the side. Got it. But okay. I don't mind one side or another. Yeah. I mean, so in that my case. My left is towards you guys today. Yeah. So, so you like to show off your freckle. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, again, in that case, like maybe I would put it like on the mm -hmm. right, which works out well because that's the side the guests will be on. Yeah. So. Um, Roberto will keep on asking questions, but we love questions from our friends. <laughs> so please ask us questions. We're live so we can answer questions right here. Yeah. Okay, let me pop around and see if we have any questions. Give us some questions. Oh, everyone's off this Friday. We've got a lot of people on here. Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah. One of our brides says so she loves her hair piece. Okay, so I this love is. This piece. Love this piece. Sorry, we've got two, two phones going. We're on live <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so love, love this piece. It is such a signature, beautiful piece. So much work went into this. So there's actually gold, there's silver, there's rose gold. So if you're that girl that just can't decide, <laughs> you get it all. <laughs> no, it, it really works like the mixed metal. Um, of course, that's a trend that's been around for a while but it's really appropriate for wedding dresses just because wedding dresses normally do have several different tones in them. Mm -hmm. um, so again, beautiful piece. You can really play with like, this is kind of more of like a princess look, placing it here. This is more like dramatic statement in the back. Definitely works really well with the dress that Roberta is wearing now. And your veil can go right here. So basically your veil should go between your bun if you have one and then your hair piece should go right here. So this is on top. Um, if you like the veil to sit a little higher, that definitely works um, because you'll see all the crystal that comes through it. So with hair pieces, I'm all about quality or don't wear one at all. Um, I think when you're working with wedding dresses, you're working with hair pieces, it can get cost to me real quick if it's cheap. So my recommendation would be to go for a smaller piece or to just not wear one if you're not wanting like to invest in a nice piece. Sorry, someone's calling me and we didn't put on no do not disturb on. That was definitely a solicitor. So we're, we're back on Instagram. Sorry about that. Sorry, had a call coming through. Uh, but yeah, beautiful piece. So turn around again, Roberta, so everyone can see. Love it. Yay. 
And the other nice thing too, so again, if you're not used to a lot, um, remember how large a landscape is your wedding. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in the bridal shop, you're looking at just the fitting room yep. and everything feels so intense. So when Roberta's hair is done professionally, it'll be a lot fuller. She'll be in a large landscape when she does her vow renewal. <laughs> um, Maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so think about that. Think of the size of your venue. Also think about like, are there a hundred people coming? all with earrings, all with possibly their hair, you know, done up. Um, so something to think about, but if it intimidates you or it feels like too much, always try a piece that's in the back because then you can get your statement. But when you look in the mirror and you have those straight on shots of your wedding, you don't have really anything but your earrings. So that's a great way to kind of get that detail and still be really true to yourself. So, but please ask us questions. Come on guys. <laughs> Let's see, this is going to take do, a minute to get out of your hair. That's okay. Do all of these pieces work wearing your hair down? They do. Now, there's some pieces that I recommend over others. Um, I actually just had a client in the other day, and she's getting married on the beach. She's wearing her hair really beautiful, kind of an exaggerated part with finger waves. Um, we're actually doing a halo in her hair to kind of help at least keep the top portion of her hair like a little calm and collected with the wind. Um, because she knows the rest of it is just going to be blowing in the wind and going wild. wild. Um, so there are certain pieces we wouldn't recommend um, with your hair down, just in case it maybe weighs your hair down mm -hmm. or it's not going to be able to be secure enough. But most of the pieces you can wear with your hair down, half up, all the way up to the side, and we'll be able to tell you. We will certainly tell you if a piece is like, you know what, this isn't going to function, you're not going to be happy with it, or it's just not going to work. So, yeah, definitely. Good question. Love it. What else do we have? Okay. I feel Let's like say. someone's got a question for me. I see something long typing up. Oh, okay. So my sister's on here. So <laughs> she needs to ask a question. <laughs> and apparently I'm doing her hair for her wedding day. Um, <laughs> I do bridal styling. I do not do hair styling. This is She'll help a, you find your dress. Yes, I'll help you find your dress, but you would not trust me to do your hair because it will fall out very quickly. Okay, so this these are new pieces, um, and they look really beautiful together. So this comes as a set of two, or we can break it apart and just do one. So right now, Roberta has one in her hair really beautiful so this has again all welded made by hand um, and you see all the Swirsky fabric that's on here this is another one with the gold the rose gold and the silver just so beautiful and soft um, so definitely more delicate you could go and do it this way and these would be pinned in and more secure of course um, or you could stack them together right here to kind of create again that like 3D texture, really, really beautiful. Um, let me play with these in the front as well. So, Roberta, if you don't mind shifting around a little, let's see what happens. Turn. We just got these in, so now's our time pretty. to kind of play with them. That looks really pretty. Yeah, we could even do someone likes that look of kind of like a halo or. Um, like almost like they want a crown, but they don't want to go full on princess. It would look beautiful to do three of these. So I love that. Kind of so like fun. it just even like on one side. Yeah, kind like of that one side. Fun. This would look yeah. beautiful with hair down. Like oh, yeah. I love this kind of half concept. So yeah, so pretty. Here, let me get a little closer. It's going to be a bumpy ride, guys. Oh, I'll Hang be close. Okay, I'll be close. great. <laughs> yeah, so pretty. You have the most awkward pose in one of these. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Yeah. Love, love those. Oh, and again, we can do them in, in like solid silver. We can do it in solid rose gold, but mm -hmm. the mix is just so beautiful. Yeah. I love so. the mixed metal. It picks up even like colors around if you have like different colors of the wedding or your dress has a different color lining than your lace. I think doing the mixed metal like will pick up the lace. And it'll pick up the lining color really well too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I 
Love Good it. thing I'm not tender headed. Right? Because I'm just like ripping it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are what we call your halos, and you can go all the way all the way around. You can also do a half halo. This one actually has a little bit of leather, um, which you don't see too often, but it gives just a little different texture to it. Um, so really beautiful, beautiful detail. So, and while I'm here, after the wedding, little anniversary sash. So, so fun. Okay. All right, so let's try this. I've got this one because it's a little bit more floral. Um, great alternative to like the older trend of the floral crowns, which are, you know, a little bit more dated. This is a little bit more current, having an actual like Swarovski halo. So, so pretty. Yay, people keep on calling me. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you a different halo. Um, it's a little bit more contemporary, less floral. And then ask us any questions before we jump off. This is the last piece, so. Let's see. I think I'll just, just take pull this out. Just pull it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, just go for it. <laughs> okay, so this is our last piece. So please ask us any accessory scenes. questions that you have. It can be about hair pieces, it can be about jewelry, really anything, we would love to help. Um, so again, this piece is a little bit contemporary. Um, love this piece. Again, could work really well if you are looking for a belt. Um, so, so pretty. That one would be really pretty as a necklace for after the wedding. Yeah. With like an off-the-shoulder so, dress. Little black for dress. Gala. Yeah, for a gala. If you're not the type that goes to galas, because I don't. <laughs> to a wedding. <laughs> um, again, yeah, for New Year's, little black dress, yeah. like anything. So, super fun to have the option. Bye, Isabel. And this one we can order as a bracelet as well, which is oh, yeah, really, really, really pretty. Oh yeah, really beautiful as a bracelet. So pretty. I feel like we might need to see this one up close as well. Okay. I'll get a little close, guys. It's a little awkward, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a really good question. So the question is, do we bobby pin in the halos or do they just stay? Um, so the, the metal that they use at Marilena is actually really nice, soft metal. Um, so they, it's, it will still stay in because we can, of course, measure your head. We can do custom so it feels secure. Mm -hmm. uh, but they also will add little loops to the hair piece. So let me give you an example. Let me see if I can get really close. And then, yes, it is a good idea to, so if, I don't know if you can see the little white loop they're like little elastic loops so these are in their pieces their hair combs the halos so there's just a few places just to extra secure with body pin and um, the other thing to mention is to make sure this is all Swarovski and rhodium it can be cleaned really easily uh, but I would make sure on wedding day that they use the hairspray everything all the sprays they put the hair piece in and they don't do like a last spray mm -hmm. um, because that will put like a film over the crystal and will dull the piece. Um, so we have a way of removing it, um, but of course that's definitely something super important to tell your hair artist. Mm -hmm. So really good question. Let me ch um, jump back around see if there's any other questions. I think we should take it down really quick and show a few pieces with the hair down. Oh yeah, that's a great Since call. we have some waves in there today. Yeah. And now we have some hair and makeup professionals on judging my hair day right now. Hi guys. <laughs> No pressure, Tally. No yeah, pressure. right. It did look Tally better. Tally did it. It did look better at the beginning of the video. Um, Tally did it. She's not for hire hair artists. Not to do wedding hair. Unless it's to a really cool destination. No, I'm not qualified. But <laughs> just enough to be able to show you like an idea. I think it's really important to have some sort of visual. And of course, we'll guide you to the right hair and makeup artist team. So. Okay, so let's take out these pins and look at these pieces with the hair down. Hopefully your braid still has that beautiful little wave and I didn't completely destroy it. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Okay. Almost there. I put a lot. Yeah, so for our accessory appointments, we typically reserve one hour to an hour and a half. Um, so it's a full experience. We look at undergarments, your hair piece, your veil, your earrings, your bracelet, um, 
as well as we have lingerie and robes. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop action. Here. Is there a rule of thumb for what type of earrings to wear with like a halo yeah. or a hair comb? Is there a rule of thumb? So that, yes. So for, so I mean, right now it's perfect. I mean, you have a nice halo, there's a little bit of an earring there. Um, now your earrings are small, so you could actually go a little bit bigger mm -hmm. um, with your hair down. If your hair was up, you would absolutely want to keep the stud with the halo. It can be a little busy. We could, of course, try on like one stud on the left and a little bit of a drop on the right. Um, but I would recommend hair pulled back. You're seeing that earring more to keep it small. Mm -hmm. When your hair is down, you can get a little bit more away with like a little a bit of a drop. One. So, And then some of the other combs where it wasn't a detail in the front, if there's no detail in the front and the detail is just on the back, then you can do that larger statement earring. Um, so those are things that we'll go through with you. If you love a nice statement earring, we'll focus on kind of a smaller hair piece, but it's always good to try a halo on. I think what's so beautiful about it is that you see the detail from every angle. So no matter who, you know, where your guests are facing you, they see that little detail. Mm -hmm. And again, it's like when you get to wear one of these, like I'm just not like, I wouldn't even, I don't know, I'd be like, <laughs> to go out with a halo, <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm not that cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would definitely use Me my either. wedding day to be able to yeah. like wear the piece. Okay, so let's go back to these. I'm super excited about how this was looking. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens when we do it with your hair down, if you can hold that other piece. So these were the two combs that just arrived that have the rose gold, the silver, the gold in them. Um, so this looks really beautiful. Just one just little piece right there. Yeah. yeah, we can again play with where your natural part is, where you tend to yeah, part it really and focus on that. Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. Just that is a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're more of a statement girl, if you're more into the fashion, you can kind of go a little, a little bit more. A little fuller. Yeah, and I kind of like what you're saying, Roberta, not going all the way around. Yeah. But if you're wanting that kind of crown look, then all the way around look mm -hmm. really good. Okay. Ask us some questions. I know you're on here. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see your names. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I have yeah, your I phone number. I'll message you and say, why didn't you ask us questions? No. <laughs> um, I love the therapies. I love the mixed metal. Yeah. Look. Like, I'm obsessed with that look. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, or you do it just a little pulled back yeah. and then right here in the back. So it can look really nice. Um, and then this is your our other mixed metal piece that I've showed you all earlier with Roberta's hair up. Um, so again, it is a larger piece. Roberta has really nice full hair. This is a great piece if you're really doing good. extensions or if you have a lot of hair. If your hair is a little thinner, then this may be a little bit more of a challenging mm -hmm. piece. So those are all things that like we talk about and go over and we'll give you our advice. But at the end of the day, like we're here to listen. So yeah. So I'm not super securing this right now because we're going oh. back and forth. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, fun, different. We can kind of turn and play with the angle of this. So really cool. Mm -hmm. And Roberta's in like a huge ball gown right now. So again, it feels yes. like a lot, but like when you're Humongous. walking down that like church aisle, mm -hmm. you know, 100, 200 people, it won't be that. that Correct. <laughs> okay. So these are the pieces that are maybe a little bit more challenging to mm -hmm. do with your hair down. Um, there is definitely a way to work them in. Um, you may just have to kind of pull a little bit of your hair back. And these are textured, so they're really meant to be worn when your hair is. Yeah. I think these are probably the only pieces I would stay away from wearing or yeah. recommending one of our brides to wear with their hair down because they are 3D. Mm -hmm. So you can see a lot of gap in between, just looks a little yeah. odd. Exactly. It could work. There's things yeah. we could do, but yeah, we'll again tell you when we feel like the piece should be more so like for like an updo. So. Correct. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, you go online, you're using Pinterest and there's a thousand photos out there yeah. and it's so hard to figure out what works for your dress, like what you feel best in. Mm -hmm. um, the easiest thing to do is just slip on your dress or we can again try on something that's very comparable to your dress and we just show you different options. Show you with your hair up, down. It's really easy to see when your gown is on. So yeah. yeah. Cool. Let Yay. me see if there's any other questions and then we'll jump off for the day. 
Thank you guys. Oh, we got so another much. question. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. What would you? Oh, this is a good question. Okay. What would you recommend for someone with a pixie cut? Okay, so we need someone to come yes. in with a pixie cut. Um, actually, Sarah asked that question. So you can cut your hair pixie cut and then come in. And then we'll Let's smile. do it. It would be so fun. Um, yeah, so that's a really great question. I don't think we received that question before. Um, so with the pixie cut, again, we want to make sure that the piece isn't overtaking. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't have a lot to do with, I would say, even like the shape of someone's face. Like, oh, is for it more sure. round? Is it more narrow face? Mm -hmm. If they can get away with a bigger piece. Um, what comes to mind is this one. So I'm kind of going back to this. I know this one's kind of been the star of the show. <laughs> um, why, why I like this is because it's very flat. It's very smooth and it's not going to kind of just like stick out of, mm -hmm. you know, pixie cut. I think of like normally like a very tailored cut. Yeah. Um, so again, it just lays very, very flat and smooth. Yeah. So you can do it closer to the face for a little bit more editorial look or it can be worn back here. I feel like um, the idea of maybe doing like a crown for a pixie mm -hmm. cut. Yeah. And Marilena also makes, if we've actually had um, a few brides that have been bald or they just you know, really, really tiny, tiny little short hair. And they've done the jewel caps. The jewel caps are beautiful as well. So this would be great for a pixie cut. And I love it too, because it's not like, you know, pixie cut is like a fun look. You don't think of it super princessy. And it's a great yeah. contrast with more of like a feminine, like princessy piece. Um, so I kind of like that balance. I think that's a great suggestion. Okay, now the questions are flowing in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it always happens that way. We're about to jump off and then we get questions. Okay, so comment from Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Um, she's the owner of About Face. Hi. And she says, I love the hair down. You do good work. Yay, I'm hired. <laughs> and Roberta has great hair. Oh, thank you. Very true. So, Thanks, cool. Carrie. Yay. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for jumping on and joining us. And we'll see you next time.